Good, hello, good morning everybody. How are you? Hope you're all okay. Did you find lots of interesting facts about the amphibians newts? I bet you did. I can't wait to see the pictures of the work that you did upon Evidence Me so I can see what you found out. Well today what I would like you to do is to have a look at the story The Nicest Newt and you'll find that in the phonics section. And if we think about the sounds, newt, what sound does that start with? That's right, a n sound. Can you all make that? N, newt. And the story is the nicest newt. What can you tell me about those two words? That's right, they both start with the same sound, the n sound. Now the letter, the letter name is N and it looks like that there are the N's, okay? So the name is N and the sound is N. So can you say the letter name for me? N, good. And say the letter sound, N. So N for Newt. So if you read the story first, you will find that there are lots of n words in the story. And what I would really like you to do is to find all the n words, <coughs> sorry, so all the words that start with the sound n. How many can you find? And can you draw a picture of all the N words. Now there might be some words like nice or naughty that might be difficult to draw but you could have a go at writing the N and then mum or dad could perhaps write the rest of the word for you. Okay and then we're going to practice writing the letter N. So here I've got the capital letter and here I've got the lowercase letter, okay? Now, when I do my lowercase letter, I start at the top, and this is really, really important, because as you get older, you might not realize how important it is now, but if you don't form your letters properly, when you get older and you start doing joint up writing, you won't be able to do your joint up writing because you're not forming your letters properly. So it is really, really important that we form our letters properly right from day one, okay? So when I do a N, it's half or it's a small letter, a short letter. So I'm going to start at the top and I take my pencil all the way down all the way back up and then I go over the hill like that okay we'll do another one I start at the top I go down back up and over the hill start at the top down back up and over the hill now you might think oh I can do that but I can do it a quick way I can go like that. Only trouble is, if you don't start at the top and do that bit first, when you come to join up writing, you won't be able to form that letter properly because each letter goes up to the top. It has a flick on it and goes up. So it's very, very important that you form your letter correctly. So we'll do it again. Start at the top, down, back up and over the hill okay so you can have a go at doing some of those for me all right and the capital letter and I've included this because I know that we've got somebody in our class that has got this at the beginning of their name so again we don't start at the bottom and go like that like we're doing a pattern we always start at the top so I start there and I go down back up, down, back up, okay? Start at the top, down, back up, down, back up. 
and that down we call a diagonal. So start at the top, down, back up, down, back up. So let's do one here, down, back up, down, back up. Okay, so again it's very very important that we start at the, that's right, the top. Okay, very very important that we start at the top. And the lowercase letter is shorter than the uppercase letter. The uppercase letter is tall and the lowercase letter is short. Okay, so have a go at that for me. I'd love to see how you get on with that. And then I've got space on here that I could draw some of the pictures uh, from the book, the story about the nicest newt. So here's my picture of a newt. N for newt. All right, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. So don't forget to get mum or dad to take a picture for you and to upload it to Evidence Me for me so I can see what you've been doing. And you know what? When you go to reception, your reception teacher would like to see what you've been doing as well. So it's really, really important that you do actually put some of these this work that you're doing on Evidence Me for us. Okay. All right, have a good day, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.